Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about three mistakes you might be making when starting your business. I've been around a while and I've learned that if you can set up these three things from the beginning, you will be setting yourself up for success. So let's look at number one. The number one mistake that I would consider for new businesses is not specializing soon enough. And what I mean by that is not establishing your niche. What is a niche? A niche is a specialized segment of a particular market. So for example, if you're a photographer, who are you targeting? Are you doing seniors? Are you doing weddings? Are you doing babies? If you can choose your focus soon enough, you will be setting yourself up for success in the long run. I went to school for business and I learned that if you can become the best known at that particular niche in your area, then you can start to expand and do other things. That being said, that doesn't mean that you can't do babies if you wanna focus on weddings, but you need to be very particular in what you're actually displaying to the world and social media, in marketing, on your website. If you wanna focus on weddings, then make sure that on Instagram, that every nine squares, most of those squares are weddings. Make sure that on your website, you have lots of in information about weddings and that you're making it very obvious to the user who's looking at your website that it is weddings that you specialize in. Again, you can't not do other things, but you wanna showcase that you specialize in something because people psychologically will want to know that you're an expert in the field that they want to hire you for. Let's look at mistake number two, doing things old school. I've talked to many prospective clients who are doing paper contracts and not really doing anything to keep track of their clients, right? You wanna have some kind of CRM, some kind of way to manage your clients, to manage your contracts and questionnaires. There are many different software options out there, but what I use is called 17 Hats. There's another one called Dubsado and another popular one called HoneyBook. Instead of sending paper contracts, you can send one with the click of a button. You can also send questionnaires and you can have templates for those questionnaires so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. You can just use a certain template, customize it for that particular client and send away. You can also do contracts and invoicing. So don't make it hard on yourself. Set yourself up easy. Make sure you have accounting software to use to keep track of all of your expenses and invoices and make sure that you have some kind of client management system so that you can keep track of everyone and their contracts. Let's look at mistake number three, setting unrealistic expectations. I'm gonna break this mistake down into three parts. The first unrealistic expectation is not believing that you need the four major pillars of having a business. Those four pillars would be accounting, a CRM, basic brand, and a website. So accounting and CRM we kind of talked about. You need somewhere to keep track of your invoices and your expenses. You need somewhere to keep track of your clients, contracts, and questionnaires. But you also need some kind of a brand and you need a website and you need that to be cohesive. If you don't have a basic brand and a website, people are not gonna take you seriously. They're gonna look at your, your Facebook and wonder why doesn't she have a website? Or they'll look at your Instagram and wonder the same thing. You need to have a place to market and showcase your work in order to be taken as seen as a professional. It's very important. A lot of people start off you know, doing their hobby and then they wanna turn it into a business. And once that light bulb goes off that you wanna make this into a profitable business, you need to get serious about it. You need to get a brand or a website. I have tons of affordable options. I have pre-made brands, I have site templates. If you need something just to get you started, that might be a great option for you. It takes time to learn who your ideal client is. It takes time to learn what style your work is gonna be in. And you don't wanna invest $10,000 in a brand and website that you're not sure you're gonna keep because you don't know who you're trying to target, right? But you do need something professional. So there's lots of affordable options on my website at www.ribbonandink.com or you can find other places like Show It to get a free template just to get you started, but you need something. Even if you have a basic type logo and some kind of site template, you need something to get you started to be seen as a professional. So the second unrealistic expectation that I would say is not planning for those four pillars, for the accounting, CRM, basic brand, and website. You need to know how much things are going to cost. Things cost money. Newer businesses don't realize us entrepreneurs pay self-employment taxes as well as our expenses. So we have to build that cost into the cost of our product or service. And that's why smaller businesses often charge a lot more than big name brands like Target because we do have to pay those extra taxes. We do have to include those expenses that come out of our you know, money pocket into whatever expense we need to make our business running. So people need to plan for these monthly expenses like for accounting and CRM to keep track of clients. And they need to plan for the bigger one-time purchases like a brand and website. Um, those four pillars are really important, but you do need to realize that there is a cost associated with them and you need to accommodate that when you're first starting off. 
The number three unrealistic expectation would be not knowing your limitations, right? If you wanna buy a expensive show up website template, which a lot of my people make, that's fine. But if you aren't able to customize it, then you're out $1,000. And now you have to hire someone to actually customize it for you. So my advice to you would be, if you're looking to get a website, try out a free template first um, and see if you are able to customize the site. If you aren't, then you might wanna just look for someone who can build you a custom site. Know what you can and can't do and plan to accommodate and outsource what you need to do. So that was a quick look at three mistakes that businesses often make when starting their business. I hope that you can set yourself up right in the future by specializing and creating a niche, by setting up your four pillars, your accounting software, your CRM to manage clients, getting the basic brand and website, and I hope that you know what you can and can't do and what you need to outsource. Those are all important steps in starting your business. I hope to see you next week for my next weekly video. Bye.